Merlin's beard. I don't know if this is working. All right, we'll just go ahead and try. <clears throat> Wizards and witches of America, uh, greetings from um, Hogsmeade Station. Um, I am the Hogwarts chaplain, and I am coming back from a trip to America. Uh, and I've got just a short walk up to the castle from here. Um, but I did want you to know something. While I was in America, uh, on my sabbatical, we have a, a fund for faculty at, at Hogwarts, the Newt Scamander Sabbatical Travel Fund, and it lets you choose anywhere you'd like to go uh, in America. Uh, and I spent some time there and, and was able to see up close in your nation's capital your new muggle president. Now, we have been very aware of things he's been doing and saying at Hogwarts. Uh, the Daily Prophet has an international section, and I mean, I knew it was bad, uh, but I did not realize how bad, and I did not realize how bad it is becoming. I was watching the uh, Muggle television just yesterday, within 24 hours, and one of the chief policy advisors of this Muggle president said something that I have never heard from anyone in the American government, anyone with any power. Um, I, and I, I wrote it down, I, I wrote it down. Uh, this, uh, this muggle's uh, name is uh, Stephen Miller, chief advisor uh, to the new muggle president. And this is what he said at 9.08 on Sunday morning. Our opponents, the media and the whole world will soon see as we begin to take further actions that the powers of the president to protect our country are very substantial and will not be questioned. Will not be questioned. Wizards and witches of America, this is not only barking mad, it is dangerous. But if we take him at his word, the whole world has been put on notice that the powers of the new muggle president are not to be questioned. My friends, in the darkest days of Voldemort's reign, and I know all this, by the way, because of the seven-volume series of modern magical history written by the most important modern magical historian, Joanne Rowling. Her books are now part of our curriculum. But if you read them closely, you see that in the darkest times of Voldemort's reign, wizards and witches did not give up. They went underground and they had a radio station that kept them connected. My friends, words like this have got me thinking. It is time again to seek the room of requirement and to find that corner of it that has, I'm sure it's still there. I'm sure the room has all we need for a new season of the WWN, the Wizard Wireless Network. I think it's time to bring it back. I think witches and wizards in America need to be connected to each other and to reality. I saw a lot of resistance going on in America, but I also hear people saying we need substance for the resistance. My friends, the WWN can come back if the room of requirement opens for us. And I believe it will because I believe Dumbledore who said, help will always come at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. These crazy muggles, we need to ask for help, and we can. These are dark times, but keep the faith and get a radio. We're going to start it up again.